right, so here's another day. This is day three on another deserted island, and I brought my stuff. I just wanted to show you roughly what I brought on this trip here. I've got my light stands and tripods here, a couple of soft boxes, which I'm probably not going to use. And then this here is a Godox case, which is what you get when you get a... Um, an AD 600 but what I did is I actually made it so I could carry two AD 600s in here and this is how I pack them and I also I also brought my backup camera which is a 6400 with two lenses and it fits in here pretty cool like that and then here's a battery pack for my 360 which is over there as you can see over there and I have two more batteries actually I have three batteries in here so I've got three 600s, three batteries for the 600s, and two more batteries for the uh, 200s, which I also have with me. So, and then I have a snoot for an AD200. So all this fits into this little box right here. And uh, these things, they pop out really quick, really easy. Get the battery on there. And you're good to go. You just pop. Now you can just handhold this. I actually I have some of these people help me just handhold it, uh, or you can put it on a light stand. Um, with with a what I did here is I brought empty empty jugs, gallon jugs. I just fill them with water, and then they're really heavy. And that's what I used to hold down the the light stands. And uh, then we have our. This is my camera equipment. My main camera is an AD, oh wait, that's AD, it's an A7 III with this, is that got a 105 on it, the, the X1 flash trigger. My other lenses are a 55 1.8 Sony, an 85 Zeiss 1.8, and a 35 1.4. That's all I'm using. This, those are the main lenses. Most of what I'm doing is the 105 the 55 and the 35. When you're on a place like this, you want to show as much of it as possible. But I don't need to go wider than a 35. And got some microphones, lens cleaners, polarizing filters, costumes, and a reflector if I, you know, want to do something really quick and dirty. And. Uh, Here's all our costumes. And then I'm down here, I've got two AD 200s. Two of those. Actually, I have three of them. Here's a third one. Here's a third one and a mounting bracket if I want to mount an AD 200 on top of the camera so I have a little bit of a straight light to fill in any shadows that could be coming force from lights coming in from the sides. So that's my setup for today. Let's see what we can do. I'm, I, I'm not really into using soft boxes too much on trips like this because you're just in a hurry. You just gotta get stuff done. There's a lot of wind and it's so bright out. It's so super bright. All I wanna do is fill in the shadows and you can do that good enough when you have multiple lights like this which are small and portable. If you have a giant soft box, it's, it's gonna blow in the wind. It's just a hassle to deal with. So most of this trip, most of this very expensive trip to get really good shots, I'm not using softboxes like most professional photographers do, who think they have to use softboxes to get good lighting. You don't. Anyway, come along to today's so photo shoot and enjoy it.
I'm not shooting 21 year old models here. I'm shooting a 50 year old woman and even then I am still using harsh lighting and I know I can control it so it doesn't make it look bad. So you don't always need soft boxes for everything. Anyway, hopefully you'll be inspired for more stuff. Subscribe to Marcus Picks. See you in the next one.